Uh, thank you for your presentation. So I had a couple questions. One of them, uh, during the presentation, you were saying that um, science, like several different scientists thought differently about um, how deep we were in this situation. What do you think about that? Do you think we've taken a step too far and that it is irreversible? Well, you know, if you just, if you simply look at, okay, well, how many species, you know, have, have we already driven extinct and how many are on the verge of extinction right now, uh, you'd say, well, this is a, you know, this is a pretty serious situation, but it's not, you know, the end Cretaceous. It's not the death of the dinosaurs. It's not the death of 75% of all species on the planet. Um, but when you look at, you know, sort of realistic scenarios for the, let's just say, the rest of this century and, you know, how much CO2 we're going to pour into the water uh, and things like that and how much global population is going to increase and how many resources people are going to use, now I, I, we don't know whether those scenarios are going to come to pass, um, then you say, well, that's, that <clears throat> is taking us into some pretty pretty dangerous territory. And then if you, you know, project out and out and out, and once again, as the longer out we go, you know, the more and more uncertain our projections become, right? But um, people who have, you know, looked at, for example, things like measuring the rate at which creatures are going from these categories of vulnerable and threatened to near extinct, extinct in the wild, and then extinct, would say that this rate, the rate at which these things are happening, you know, suggest that we are in a very major extinction event. People have tried to look at, you know, different ways for calculating that, and, and, as, and as I said at the top, have come up with, with different answers. And I honestly can't tell you where we are in that process. Uh, it's one of these things where, you know, many millions of years, whatever is looking at the fossil record, uh, we'll, we'll know, but it will be very difficult for us to know wh while we're doing it. Um, so at the end, you said caring isn't enough. Uh, we, we actually have to um, manually like make a change. But er earlier on, you said that um, some leading factors toward the sixth extinction were how seven billion people on the planet were using lights and driving and such. Do you think it's, um, do you think that us manually making a change would make a big enough change so as not to be impacted by all the um, lights and cars and such? Well, what, what I was trying to say by that is, is, is just that our, our good intentions are not enough. We, we really need to confront, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's not, it doesn't really, even, even at, the, at the point where, you know, something's on the verge of extinction and we preserve a remnant population, that, that's a very, very noble thing to do. And I really admire people spending their, their lives doing that. But, but we really need to confront, you know, the root causes, as it were, of what's going on. And those are, as I hope I indicated, they're really big. Uh, and they're many. They're not just one. It's not even just climate change, unfortunately. Uh, there's a host of, of, of ways in which we are changing the planet on a geological scale, so much so that you've probably heard discussions of geologists thinking that we should rename the time we live in. We, we officially live in the Holocene, which is the time since the last ice age, um, but that we should rename this the, the Anthropocene after people, because people have replaced uh, the great forces of, of, of geology uh, of the past. So these are really, really big things, and they're not... Uh, it's not a matter of, you know, uh, spending more time uh, helping animals or, 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 or even go donating more money, though those are all good things to do, and I, I really do recommend them, uh, but it's a matter of sort of trying to get our, our, our minds around, uh, you know, all of these really, really big ways in which what we're doing that seems really ordinary uh, is really just changing the planet on a, on a permanent basis. Thank you. Thanks a lot.